It smells like Holland and Barrett kind of thing. Galactomyces bifida. It's just a light tingle, but it feels quite nice on the skin. I feel like I'm gonna have the Korean typical glass skin today, and I am so here for it. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and to another video. I hope you're all safe and well. As you can tell from the title, I am going to be testing some Korean skincare. I watched James Welsh's video a couple of weeks ago on Style Korean. He did an ad for them and I thought I must try the products that he's recommending and maybe some extras from their website. So I hopped on over there and had a look. I took some of James's recommendations. I will link his video down below and also on the iCard up here. I think it's this side or this side. One of the sides. So you guys can go and check it out. I have been so interested in Korean skincare for such a long time and I've tried bits and pieces here and there. Things that are inspired by Korean skincare. So I thought I'd actually try some things that are actually from Korea. I will be doing a full haul on all these products which would have already been up on my channel before this video so you can go check that out to see all the products I've bought but in this video I am going to be testing them and putting them to the test for about a week to show you guys the results. So if you want to see my thoughts on Korean skincare and the Korean skincare I've bought from Style Korean then just keep on watching. That was a bit of a mouthful of an intro, I'm very sorry for that. But the first product I'm going to go in with is a face mask. I have already cleansed my skin with the Kate Somerville Exfolicate Cleanser. I absolutely love this cleanser. It's not Korean, but it is one of my favourites. So now I'm going to go in with a face mask. So I'm going to go in with the Innisfree Super Volcanic Pore Clay Mask. Now on the website, this looks incredible. So it says it's a multi-action rinse off clay mask formulated with jeju volcanic clusters and spheres cause skin upon contact absorbs excess oil for visibly smaller pores all while helping to improve the overall look and texture of the skin triple exfoliation with the volcanic clusters walnut shells and AHA so it says after cleansing apply on to dry face avoiding the eye and lip area after 10 minutes gently massage with fingertips while rinsing off with lukewarm water okay so I have now applied that onto my skin I'm gonna leave it for 10 minutes and then I'll be back once I've rinsed it off and we can see what my skin is looking like. So I am back, I've just washed off that mask. My skin is glowing. It wasn't as rough as I was expecting. With it having volcanic rocks, walnut shells in it, I was expecting it to be a lot rougher on my skin, but it wasn't. It was quite like a gentle, soft exfoliation when I was wiping it off. As you can see, my skin is very smooth, very glowy. So now we're going to go in with a toner. It says Snail Bee High Content Skin Toner containing snail secretion filtrate, Camilla sinus leaf water, bee venom, peptides and various botanical extracts helps keep your skin hydrated, soothed and cleared. Okay, so I can feel a slight tingle. Nothing horrendous. It's not like a glycolic acid serum or anything like that. It's just a light tingle, but it feels quite nice on the skin. My skin feels quite hydrated and not dry. It's a little bit stickier as well, but I quite like that. I'm now going to go in with an essence. I have I've always wanted to try an essence so when I saw James recommending this one I thought I have to try it and see whether it actually works for my skin and whether it is something I would recommend to you guys so this is the Tocobo Bifida Biome Essence it's a barrier strengthening essence that enhances the skin's natural strength skin protection and soothing effect with highly concentrated lactic acid bacteria all-in-one care with whitening and wrinkle improvement functions that feels so nice it's like very hydrating Rating. So I'm going to sit here and just let this absorb into my skin just for about two to three minutes and then I'll be back to show you the rest of the products and we can test them. Okay so I've now sat here and let that absorb into my skin. I have never seen my skin look this dewy without being wet. It's a little bit sticky but I think it's still settling into my skin but I'm now going to go in with a serum. I actually have two serum products to go in with today. So the first one is is the Num Buzzing Number no. 3 Skin Softening Serum. So it's a texture care serum that enhances the natural strength of skin with the fermentation synergy effect of Galactomyces Bifida. Not sticky at all, nutritious, dense texture. I feel like I'm gonna have the Korean typical glass skin today and I am so here for it. 
I'm so excited. I'm just hoping this doesn't react under any other products that I'm using today, but we will see. And that is the whole point of me testing these products. So I'm now testing another serum. I'm very excited about this one. So this is the Axis Y Dark Spot Correcting Glow Serum. It's a nice and wide base serum that corrects dark spots and improves uneven skin tone with the help of plant derived squalene. This serum retains moisture to keep your skin glowing and healthy wherever you go. Reduces pigmentation concerns including dark spots and uneven skin tone. Smooths and brightens skin deeply moisturised. This one's the first one that's kind of had a scent to it. It's not an unpleasant scent. Kind of smells... I can't really put my finger on it. It's sort of like herby, if that makes sense. It smells like Holland and Barrett kind of thing. Does, does that make sense to anyone? <laughs> my skin has never looked this good and I love it. Obviously I've still got the problem areas but I'm looking at the texture of my skin and the glassiness and I am... I'm in love. So now I'm gonna go in with a moisturizer. So this is the Haru Haru Wonder Black Rice Hyaluronic Cream. This cream retains hydration in skin by creating a protective barrier to prevent loss of moisture with highly concentrated hyaluronic acid and other nourishing properties. It also helps fill in intensive hydration and nourishment to relieve skin tension and keep skin in the best condition by inhibiting oxidation. Our unique fermentation formula transforms raw ingredients into a more flexible configuration for the skin to absorb. This one again has a similar sort of scent to the previous serum. This smells like a Veda. It's the only way I can describe it. I don't really know what the scent is. So now I'm going in with my sun cream. This year I'm really trying to find a really nice sun cream that doesn't break me out or react with other products that I use. So I thought I would try this one since this is a Korean skincare sun cream. This is 50 SPF++++. So I'm gonna try this out for you guys. This is the Beauty of Joseon Relief Sun Rice and Probiotics. Relief Sun is an organic sun cream that applies gently on the skin and by also including skin calming ingredients it allows sensitive skin types to use it with ease as well. Demonstrating natural skin is possible without a heavy feeling, even after applying several layers as the formula is moist and does not leave a white cast. Lightweight cream formula. The moist cream formula allows for fresh absorption without peeling or white cast. Okay, I am back with freshly washed skin. I have had makeup on all day, but my skin is feeling really, really good at the minute. I did pick at this spot up here. It's been there for ages. It finally had a head on it and I popped it, which is not the best idea, but we've done it now. So we're just gonna move on. So I'm gonna test some more of these products. I'm so excited. My skin feels incredible today. I don't know whether that's just my skin today or whether that's because of these products. I feel like I am due on. So I'm hoping these products may help my skin. But the first thing we're gonna go in with after cleansing is the Secret Key Starting Treatment Essence. This is an essence that maintains moisturizing effect to your skin and revitalizing skin rhythm, which I need right now. So it's a moisturizing essence with brightening properties based on fermented milk cultures that deliver intense deep hydration, restoring energy and retaining skin youth. The essence exhibits noticeable antioxidant activity, which works in protecting the skin from the harmful environment factors and aggressors that can cause damage to cells and have an impact on skin aging. I like to basically drown my face in an essence or a serum or definitely like a toner. I love to like drown my skin in it. My skin is drinking this up right now. I'm not even joking. Feeling good but my skin is definitely going like this with all these products. I'm then going to go in with the Tokobo Bifida Biome Essence. The same as I used this morning and we're just going to Apply it onto our skin and then let it sink it in for a bit. I love how thick this is. While that is sinking in, I'm gonna talk about the next product, which is the Sun By Me Retinol Intense. It just says to apply a moderate amount at the step of using serum after cleansing, massage it gently over your face, lightly pat down with serum to absorb. I'm usually pretty good with retinols, so we're going to see. This is really hydrating. Usually when I use retinols, I kind of soaks into my skin so quickly, but this is gliding on, making my skin feel so, so nice. 
down. I always bring everything down my neck. I'm liking this so far. I am liking this. I was going to go with two more serums, but I think I'm just going to go in with one more. They both contain niacinamide, and I tried the Numbazin Skin Softening Serum this morning, so now I'm going to go in with the Beauty by Yosun Glow Deep Serum Rice and Alpha Butin. So this says it's a lightweight hydrating serum enriched with hangbang, traditional Korean herbal medicine, ingredients for skin brightening and anti-pigmentation. Brightening solution, glow deep serum, rice, alpha arbutin. Now I've just realized I didn't grab like a super hydrating overnight cream. So I think I'm gonna go in with the moisturizer I used earlier, the Haru Haru Wonder. Just look at that glow. So this is just the same as earlier. This is the Black Rice Hyaluronic Cream. Now I've put everything else on. I'm just going to apply a few pumps of this and this will be the end of my skincare for the evening and I can then climb into bed. You can really feel that hydration going into my skin. So this is how we're looking for the night time. I am obsessed right now. I love so far the Tokobo Essence. This is one of my favourites. I love how thick it is. I'm also loving, I like how the retinol felt on my skin. Obviously this is the first time we're trying any of these products. I will continue to test them for the next Next week and yeah we will see what results we have within a week and how my skin is reacting to the Korean skincare so I will catch you probably tomorrow morning when I'm just sat down doing my skincare Okay, so it is now the end of a very, very exciting week of testing all of these products. As you can see, I've got a very shiny face at the minute. I've just washed my face. For some reason, my skin is super, super dry. And I'm not too sure if it is because of these products, but we're gonna go in with them again and see what happens. So I'm starting off with the Secret Key Starting Essence. Now, I've really enjoyed using this especially as like a first step before putting on any of my other products because it really like soaks into my skin nicely. I like to make my face very wet with this just to lock in all of that hydration, bring it down my neck. None of these products have reacted with any makeup that I've worn, which is really nice. So that is my first step. I have been loving this essence. This is the Tokobo Essence. If you want anything from this and you suffer with dry skin or anything like that, get this essence. I'm not even joking. It is so, so nice, super hydrating. You just let it sit on your skin for a minute. I really like lather up my skin. I really like smother it in this, but it just feels so nice on the skin. It soaks in really nicely, even though it's like a thicker consistency, it really soaks into your skin. My spots are a lot less red, which I really am enjoying at the minute because before this, I had really like red spots. They were very angry, but since doing this, they've really calmed down. So I like this skin softening serum. I just think it gives me a bit of a plump to my skin. This is Num Buzzing Serum, number three. And while my skin is still a little bit wet from that Tokobo essence, I just go in with this. Again, just to lock in all that moisture. And the last serum I'm going in with is the Beauty of Yosun. This is the Glow Deep Serum. And this just gives me a really, really nice 
glow. I'm not going to go in with any other serums. I'm not going to go in with my dark spot correcting serum. I have been enjoying that as well. There isn't a product that I haven't really been enjoying. No, there's no products that I haven't enjoyed this week like using because I have been using all of them most days. It's just today my skin is just for some reason not happy with me. So we're just going to be kind to it and not put too many products on it. I've then been going in with the Haru Haru Wonder Moisturizer. I love this. It really adds a bit of glow to my skin but also I've noticed that it gets rid of the texture on the t-zone of my skin which is really nice so I'm just gonna smother this all over me today since my skin is super dry if you ever feel like your skin's super dry and you don't know where put a lot of product on and see the places where it like soaks in quickest I'm just gonna sit here let that soak in but like I said I've like smothered my skin in that so it's got a lot of product on it so it should soak in and help with that dryness right so that's been sat on my skin and my skin is already dry especially in like here around my nose a little bit so that has soaked in feels really nice i'm now going to go in with my sun cream this is the beauty of yosun sun relief i've seen loads of people talking about this i've never heard of this product before and now i've kind of seen it everywhere on my for you page and things so I've really enjoyed using this. I don't find it gives me a white cast. It doesn't ball up under products. It also doesn't break me out. It makes me super glowy, which I love, as you guys know. And I always bring everything down my neck and onto my chest, just because I used to get loads of like spots here and I don't anymore. So that is my finished skincare routine. That's what I do in the morning. I have been loving these products. I can't say anything else about them. Do you need all of them? Probably not. I think the ones that I'd really recommend is the Tokobo Essence, the Haro Haro Wonder Moisturizer, the Beauty by Yosun Sun Cream, the Retinol, this Retinol, which I don't use in the morning, I use this in the evening, but I really enjoy this, and the Numbers in Skin Softening Serum. So those are like the main like five products I would recommend from this. So I'll link all the products down below, but they are my top five and I'll have them listed at the top of the description so you can go and check those out. The rest of them are really really nice products but they're not necessary for you to get amazing skin but I do really enjoy using them so I'm going to continue to use them I'm going to continue to shop on Style Korean because I am obsessed with these products I haven't tried any proper like k-beauty products and these are the first ones i've tried and i have loved them so yeah let me know what you think down below let me know if you think my skin has improved in just a week of using this i have got another skincare video going up it's very different to anything i filmed before i'm excited but also very scared to do it so i'm starting to film that tonight it's gonna be a week-long process so that should be going up soon so if you don't want to miss that then subscribe down below ring the notification bell there may be a surprise appearance from someone in that video which I am very very excited about also petrified like I say but yeah I have loved trying these products this week my skin as much as it's a bit dry at the minute but that is just the time of year also the time of the month I always get very dry skin at this time of the month if you have enjoyed it give it a big thumbs up comment below any other products you want to see me test any other videos you want to see me do I've got some good ideas coming your way very very soon and I hope you have an amazing day evening whatever time it's you are watching this and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys!